drinking gully. Well, gully is a staple food of people from Kenya. Kenya is in Africa, so it's basically corn flour or maize meal, as we call it back home. You boil the water, and once it comes to boiling, you put the the corn flour, and you keep stirring until the consistency thickens. Starts as porridge, then keeps going until it's hard. It's, uh, the consistency gets thicker and thicker, and that's how you know you're making good with garlic. So uh, we normally make it with a uh, wooden stick called muiko. So you just toss and turn it around. You can make it as thick or as should I say as hard or as smooth as you want it to be. Yeah? So you keep on stirring until it's ready. And uh, once you make this, the accompaniment is what varies. You can actually have this the whole week and just keep on changing the, the accompaniment because it's like the side. So, so you can have it with chicken, with beef stew, with lamb, and of course with some veggies. The vegetables that are common in Kenya are called skumawiki. That's kale here, here, or colored greens, or spinach. But we also have our habo, or what, or ethnic or traditional, traditional veggies we use. And I'm gonna show them to you in a minute because that's what I'm actually going to make to accompany this yummy, yummy meal. I had a friend of mine from Sweden say, oh, that thing doesn't look tasty. It's just bland. He wanted to put cheese to it. <laughs> yeah, but this is how we know it. We don't add any cheese to a, to a ugali. We just make it with water. And you see, I've even put some butter. Back home, we don't put any butter in there. We just make it with plain water and flour and, and and actually it's not even the refined or fortified flour it's just the the we grind the meal we mill it just the whole with everything in it which i believe is more nutritious unlike what we have here where they remove the goodness of the corn so yeah but what can we do so we keep on making it and to be ready within our time Thank you. So this is our indigenous vegetables. Got a rare and I'm gonna clean them up, chop them a little bit, and then prepare them to have with ugali. Yep.